Hi, I'm Sharka, Chief Transformation Officer from Neural Impact. I thought I'd take a couple minutes and speak to you about what does it look like to change your marketing in a COVID world? We've had lots of customers call and ask, you know, should we still be marketing? How do we market? What does this mean to our organization? So as many technology providers are seeing IT projects being put on hold right now and their sales pipelines are drying up overnight, and many customers, by the way, are scrutinizing all their existing ongoing costs and op often canceling non-essential subscriptions and services, it's going to be really important for us to change our marketing approach. So in order to align your sales and marketing motion and the messaging to be more relevant right now and honestly appropriate for the current situation, here's some suggestions. I'll quickly walk you through five strategies that I think will help and that are important to think about. So first of all, you need to make your messaging more relevant, okay? Reposition your solution to be related somehow or relevant to some sort of a challenge that's been created or that your customers are currently dealing with as a result of this COVID environment we're all finding ourselves in. That means real challenges, real problems, and solutions that align with that. We're in an environment where there's lots of fear and there's uncertainty. And our natural behavior is to avoid risk. I'm not gonna go spend money on a project if I don't have to. And we wanna be conservative. So you're going to have to create some urgency, but also align with what's important in order to not have customers have a wait and see approach. Also, no one's going to spend money right now unless it is critical and urgent. And it's what I call an emotional trigger. All right. So the other thing I would suggest is if you have any paid digital advertising, turn it off if it's upbeat or positive, or change the messaging to be more appropriate and relevant to what's happening right now. You're not gonna get any ROI on old messaging that's positive and upbeat, and you'll probably be wasting some of that budget and investment. I'd also encourage you to change any headlines or banners and content that you've been using. Uh, to reflect the current state and the economy. So for example, if you're continuing to use positive language and vocabulary, like increase your productivity, you know, increase collaboration, honestly, it's sort of borderline offensive, but for sure inappropriate, especially if I'm laying off people or I'm worried about cash flow and making payroll. So adjusting the tone and the language is really important right now. If, for example, you're a modern workplace partner and a Microsoft reseller, before you might have talked about collaboration and productivity and group performance, obviously now we're going to be changing that language to be about onboarding remote workers, to be able to continue to deliver service without being interrupted, right? And to keep control and, and still have insight from a distance. So we need to shift the language and the messaging to relate to real problems and challenges and position our solutions as being a, an assistance and a help to those problems that people are struggling with. So the second strategy I'd recommend is to stop selling and marketing at customers and instead to come from an empathetic perspective. We wanna shift from language that's vendor specific about here's who we are, we've been in business a long time, we have these great products, and instead to use language that resonates with the customer, that describes their situation and their problems and what they're going from, from their view, not ours. So you want to lead with acknowledging their challenges and then aligning your product or solution and how that can help take some of that pain away or help with the stress and the challenges that they're dealing with. Your sales pitch is gonna fall on deaf ears right now. So get to real problems, help them solve it, and let them see how you can be there for them. The third strategy I'd recommend right now is to not have a horizontal mass market approach in your marketing and messaging, but instead to pinpoint very specific industries that are being disrupted right now and help those companies adjust to that transition by giving them the technology solutions they need. For example, I teach at a university, I teach MBA students, and I have never seen faculty more open to moving their courses online and to delivering content in a new way. Now, this is behavior that normally would have been resistant and uncomfortable, but because there's fear of losing students, there's fear of losing jobs, 
there's demands from customers and students to have to continue and not disrupt their education. Universities are investing in technology, they're training faculty, and faculty are more willing to go through the pain and the uncomfortableness of teaching in a whole new medium and mode and way than they ever have before. And it's happening in two weeks instead of two years. The fourth strategy, which if you haven't done it already, absolutely I would encourage you to do this, is two parts. Number one, have a COVID plan. Share that with your customers. Are you still open for business? Will you pick up their calls? Is your level of service going to be the same? Right? So you have to have your own internal best practices and what your policies are and how you're respecting and aligning with the COVID requirements. And the second part of that then is, how can you help your customers in this particular environment? Now, how I would do that is I would have a video that your CEO can create, two to three minutes, that talks about your internal strategy and process and policies, and also how you're there for customers and how you can help them. And the second thing I would do is have some live events, for example, where you can invite your existing customers to come in and have a conversation, to talk about the challenges, This is a way to discover new opportunities and to find new solutions that you can use your team to quickly develop. We've seen partners in five days bring, create new apps or dashboards and solutions to help very specific problems in certain industries in a matter of days that used to take months or years. Reaching out to your existing installed base of customers is a really important strategy right now. First of all, they know you, they trust you and you're already their trusted technology partner. You should be going to them at their time of need and reaching out to see how can we help. And even if it's outside of your core competency or in a whole new area you haven't done before, maybe this is a great opportunity to invest and test new products or solutions, to build new competencies or learn new skills. And after all of this is over, it'll help with churn and give you more IP or opportunities for expanding into your existing customer base. It's going to be much harder to recruit and find new customers who don't know you in this environment and climate. Now, the fifth strategy, which is aligned with what I just said, is to really protect and expand your base. Right? I would recommend taking your top customers, offering them a free one-hour remote whiteboard session to talk about all of the new problems and challenges that they've been dealing with in the last two months, or month, depending on which country you're in, and brainstorm how you can be there for them right now. We want to reach out and be there and be their trusted partner at the time that they need us the most, not just when the times are good. For example, if you have customers and your Dynamics partners that are really concerned about cash flow and monitoring receivables, maybe you create a special dashboard or you have a power app that can, you know, give them alert on their phone to let them know when certain levels or triggers are hit. If they've laid off salespeople, maybe you can help them leverage their existing CRM investment to see how they can better connect with their existing customers or get new revenue or better manage opportunities with less people. There's a whole bunch of very relevant problems that you know how to solve. Your customers are trying to stay in business and keep their customers. They don't understand how technology can be leveraged to help them at this time where it's difficult for them. All right, so there's five very specific things you can do from a marketing standpoint to reach out, to connect with your customers that can help you still be relevant and align and 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 be of value right now, even when everyone's conservative and worried and not wanting to spend money on technology. And in the end, hopefully, we'll all come out of this a little leaner, but hopefully much better positioned for the future. Take care and stay safe. 